Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky and I'm so excited that you're here today. Well, I want to first apologize because this video is several days late. I normally like to put out a video on Thursdays, but that just didn't happen this week. It's been one thing after another. And this has been the first actual minute that I've had in my home by myself pretty much all week. Um, I normally like to put out a, a video on Thursdays. David was sick. He's had like a sinus infection and he was home from work on Thursday. So I wasn't going to do anything then. Friday, well, this is a story I'm going to share with you. <laughs> so you're not going to believe it. Um, so I get off work uh, on Friday. I get off just a little bit early and I was planning on coming home and filming. And I get a call. My, my son-in-law works for the sheriff's department and he lets us know that not to come home because there's a standoff in the entrance to our neighborhood with a gentleman with a pretty powerful rifle and it was not safe to come home. So I couldn't come home. They had my whole neighborhood blocked off and you know, I'm not complaining because I wasn't trying to get in their way. I wasn't trying to get in the middle of the situation. Thankfully, um, the situation was resolved without incident. No one was hurt. None of our sheriff's department members were injured and they were able to um, ascertain the man with no incident as well and take him to get the help he needed. I think it was a, a mental health more than just you know, mean to him being mean. I think he was, he was needing help. So, um, thank the Lord that was resolved and we, I was able to come home that night and it was all taken care of. And thank you to our local sheriff's department for taking care of us and keeping us out of harm's way. Because let me tell you, <laughs> um, that's, we, that's crazy, isn't it? it? It's scary. The things that can happen out there. So Saturday, which was yesterday, uh, Summer and me and David, we went antiquing and it's good for you guys because I have a few things to share with you that I found. So that's going to be fun. I'll show you a little clip of some of the things we saw. Um, and then today is Sunday and I just got home from church. David is visiting some family members and I actually have the house to myself. So I'm finally getting to talk to you guys and do this video. I have so many things spread out here um, because I had stuff planned for Thursday and then we went antiquing, so I have stuff from that. So I don't even know what to show you first. I've just got so many things to talk about. Um, but we're gonna start with, I guess I'm gonna show you some of the things that we saw while we were antiquing yesterday. And by the way, do you guys like that? Do you like seeing the footage of the antique stores, uh, of the things that I see? I try to pick, you know, the things that are that pique my interest, that catch my eye, and not show every little thing, but they do run a little long. I mean, that it could be up to several minutes long that you're watching this. So I'm curious, do you like the video footage of the antique stores or do you just like to see what we found? Um, let me know down in the comment comments what you prefer and um, maybe I'll make some changes if I need to, but I'm gonna let you look real quick at what we saw yesterday and then we're gonna come back and I'm just gonna show you everything that I have surrounding me.
All right, so I think the way that, I, because I have so many things here, um, I think what I wanna do is start with spring and Easter items that I found because I've got a different array. I've got everyday things that I found and I've got spring and Easter. I have specifically been looking for Easter decor for the last several weeks because my Easter decor is all new and modern. Um, I didn't even decorate for Easter last year. I did the bumblebees and everything kind of stayed in the in the boxes because I wasn't inspired by anything. My style had changed. I was more in the vintage, as you know, um, old things. I wasn't able to find anything. So I really didn't decorate for Easter last year. So I'm gonna be bringing things out that I haven't seen since 2021. And I was looking at some old pictures and I'm just kind of still in the, it's blah. It's neutrals, it's um, a little bit of pastels, but not a lot. And I really want to bring in some vintage to what I already own. I don't want to redo everything. I still want to use what I have because that would be crazy to just start all over. But I want to draw in some vintage to my existing Easter decor. So I'm going to show you the things I found. I have a couple things that are new and I have a couple things that are old. So hold on one second. All right, so let's start with the new things just because they're closest to me. <laughs> um, so Friday when I was not able to come home, I went to TJ Maxx, I went to Ross, I went to Hobby Lobby, and I went to Home Goods. This little guy I found from TJ Maxx, so let me grab him for you. He does look vintage, but he is in fact new, or she is a girl. <laughs> um, she is in fact new. She was $12.99. She makes me think of the paint your own pottery pieces, the hobbyist pieces, and I just love her. She's a little matte, which makes is why she reminds me so much of the pottery pieces that people used to make. Um, I just love her. Her eyes look like she was painted back in the 70s and the colors are just perfect. So I got her for $12.99 at TJ Maxx. So if you want one, um, they do have lots more to choose from. They have a little lamb, they have little chicks, they have different styles, bunnies, anything. I mean, all you have to do is go look and you're gonna see the vintage inspired decor at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Um, next thing I got was from Home Goods, and um, you're gonna say that is the creepiest thing I've ever seen, but I love him, and he reminds me of Ralphie from A Christmas Story. But he was $14.99, he's Annalise, and he is gonna go perfect with my vintage inspired Easter decor that I'm gonna try to add in. So I love him. And I know you, he's not for everybody, but <laughs> he's just the cutest, I think. Okay, so the next thing I got, this came from Hobby Lobby. He, I, they had a couple different styles, but I just got this one. Hobby Lobby also has a lot of vintage inspired decor, so just look. All you gotta do is look and you're gonna see it. But I thought he looked old, and even though he is new, he was originally $7.99, but Hobby Lobby has their Easter 40% off now, so you can get him for maybe like four bucks or so. But I didn't care for the other style. I don't know why, there was just something about him. I love chocolate bunnies and uh, I picked him up, okay? The other things that I got from Hobby Lobby, there were four to choose from. I only got the three um, and they were these little ornaments. There's one with the lamb. These were originally $2.99 and I got 40% off. And then we have the little bluebird. These are wooden or um, pasteboard or whatever. I'm not sure what, what is that wood called? It's not wood, it's something, I can't think of the word. Anyway, we got the bluebird. And then lastly, I got the little chick. So these three are gonna go on my Easter tree. And by the way, I also have a um, DIY that we're gonna do for the Easter tree. So that'll be coming up soon, hopefully. Um, and it's gonna match with this feel, this vintage feel. All right, so I'm gonna put these aside. All right, so um, the next thing I'm gonna show you kind of goes with that. It, can, it is new. Um, it's a bisol piece. And 
I guess that's how you say it, Bisel, Bisel. Um, I bought these from the antique store. They were $2 a piece. I'm not gonna open them, open them. I'm gonna show you what they look like, but I'm not gonna all the way open them because I don't want to quite um, mess it up yet. But they're the little honeycomb pieces. Oh wait, maybe I can show you like that. I can show you without tearing it up too much. Um, there's the chick. These were $2.25 a piece, I think. Here's the little bluebird. He's gonna open like that. I think these are gonna go great in my tear tray to add just that little touch of vintage. Um, and then we have this sweet little bunny. The only thing I don't like about the bunny is that he is orange. I wish he was brown, but that's okay. We have that one. And then I have one more that's just, which is kind of large. I really don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I wasn't leaving without it. <laughs> This one was $5 and some change, maybe close to six. Um, it hasn't been opened yet. I'll open it up. It is, it's Spicel too, but it is new, it's brand new, still in the package. It's not vintage at all, but it's just vintage inspired, which is fine. I have no problem with that. And here's what it looks like. So it's a little bunny, see his little face. And there's the honeycomb part. And then he's got this little wagon that is gonna be a little more two-dimensional. I don't know how it goes together. We're gonna find out together when we decorate. <laughs> but that's the second one that I got from the antique store. So I'm just gonna lay it all down. I'm not gonna try to put it back in the package right now. That'll take a little bit too much time. Um, the same antique store that I got those I bought this little guy here. She was $2. I didn't see anything wrong with her. I'm not sure why she was only $2 other than the fact that she's got some cold paint loss at the top or maybe someone tried to paint over her. I, there's just black paint there and I'm not really sure why, but she has the sweetest little face and little dimples in her knees and there's a little egg in the back. They had some grass back there, but she was only $2. So I grabbed her. David didn't care for her too much, but I grabbed her. <laughs> and I do have a few vintage Easter pieces, um, but not a lot. 95% of my Easter, 98% of my Easter is new. So just trying to incorporate some, some old in there. And then this was a little pack of eggs. Uh, I'm sorry, a little pack of bunnies. Um, I did pay $10 for these. It's a little, little high, but I got them anyway because I just, I needed something and I thought they were cute. There's two bunnies and an egg in there and they're, they're porcelain or ceramic or whatever you wanna call them. They do have a little bit of paint loss there, but it's okay. They're still really cute and I love them. The last, oh wait, no, yeah. The last thing that I got from the antique store is this Afghan. And I told my family, they were like, what are you gonna do with another Afghan? Well, I don't have any Easter colored Afghans um, so I'll probably put it on my blanket ladder, but I love the colors and you're going to see this again in a few minutes because it matches perfectly with something that I'm going to share with you in just a second, but I want to get this haul out of the way real quick, but this is, uh, $25. I think I paid for this. So I did splurge, but I have not been antiquing in a really long time and I, I really wanted to add some vintage to my Easter decor. I haven't bought anything else. This is all I've bought. So I don't think I did too bad, but I have this blanket. This last piece, these last couple of pieces that I wanna show you, they were a gift from a um, family member. She was having a yard sale. The yard sale had wound down. These pieces did not sell, so she gave them to me. I was having the yard sale with her, so we were all doing it together. But I saw this, I really liked it. She was getting ready to take it to the thrift store and I said, please don't, <laughs> I'll take it. Don't, don't throw that away. Um, I don't know where I, what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I hope you can see how pretty it is, but I'm gonna find a place for it. I don't even know, I guess it was used to put candy in, but it's paper, so it's very fragile and I'm protecting it at all costs. Um, and then these last two things I probably picked up throughout the year because it was in my little box that I keep in my closet. Um, when I find things, I put it in the closet for later. Um, but I've got this little bunny. 
Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. And then I've got this little basket. Let me turn it this way. And they were each 25 cents. So, and that is my Easter haul. So I have, okay, let me just look around and see if I've missed anything. Okay. <laughs> Next thing I want to show you is a friend mail piece that I received. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. So a few weeks ago, I showed you some plates that were sent to me from my friend Monica. Well, Monica has struck again as she has sent me some more beautiful goodies. Um, she found these dishes at the thrift store for pennies, I think. And she asked me, did I want them? And of course I love them. And they reminded me of tulips and they reminded me of spring. So I think these are gonna be so beautiful on my table for spring and Easter. So the thing is, is she was only able to find five of these. She did find, let me grab it. She did find this big one, but there was only five of the dinner plates. You can tell, see the difference in the sizes here. So I received those on Friday. Well, when I got off work, I had them in my possession. They were in my car. And um, that's the day that I did not get to come home. So I thought, well, I'll just go do a little shopping and, or as you can see, a lot of shopping. <laughs> but we went. I went to a thrift store, a Goodwill near my home. And what do you think was sitting there waiting on me but another plate just like this. So I now have a set of six, so I have enough to set my table. But let me tell you what's the most, my favorite part about the whole thing, and I didn't realize it until today, but look at this. Is it that, hold on, yeah, is it that perfect? So my blanket ladder is right beside my dining room table, and I hope that the two can kind of pull pull together and you'll be able to see the two together. So yes, isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much, Monica. You are amazing and I just love you so much and I appreciate the, the dishes and I'm gonna cherish them and put them to good use. So you might've noticed at the end of that montage of the antique store that there was a different setting that you may have recognized and it was the Cracker Barrel. I went to the Cracker Barrel yesterday for lunch. I love the Cracker Barrel. I love eating there. I love shopping there. I love looking at all of their goodies. But yesterday when we were there, they had a table that my heart was just soaring. <laughs> it was mushrooms and owls and it was everything on the table was so beautiful and I was just drooling over everything. They had 25% off of everything on this table. So I did grab a couple of things. So these are new, but I think they're going to match my home perfectly. The first thing that I grabbed was this little macrame owl. I don't know where it's going. They had a big brown one that I really, really loved and I would have loved to have owned, but, and it only would have been like $15, I think. I just don't have anywhere to put it. I have a wall space. Um, I have no wall space left in my home. Um, my pictures take priority and my paintings and a few of my dishes. So I just don't have a place for that big, beautiful owl, but it was awesome. And if Lily loved owls as much as I do, I would have probably bought it for her, but she likes the mushrooms more than the, the owls. So I did get this little one. I thought it was small enough that maybe I could put it on a small wall and um, I just love it. And I ended up paying like, I think $7.50 or so for this, like, around the $7 range. It was originally $10, so got that. And then I got these little salt and pepper shakers. They were originally $6.99, but they were 25% off. And I think they are gonna match my decor perfectly. They are perfectly 70s and just the cutest little things. And they're gonna match great. I don't know where I'm gonna use them. I'm thinking about doing a tiered tray with mushrooms since I've accumulated so many here lately. And then speaking of mushrooms, you also may remember my friend who gave me her uh, mother's mushroom cookie jar. And I was so excited. I was so thrilled to own this cookie jar and you guys loved it too. You all had a fit over it. Well, when we were getting ready to go uh, antiquing yesterday, I got a Facebook message from her and she's in the middle of cleaning out her mother's home. I told you that uh, 
young couple was going to come in and stay there and she's cleaning everything out and she found another piece to the to the set and she sent it to me she said do you want this i was like yes <laughs> so she said it's yours just come get it i said well i'm getting ready to drive by there right now we're on our way to town um do you mind if i stop now she said nope come on so let me show you what she gave me hold on to your britches <laughs> you're gonna love it that's what she gave me isn't it beautiful I, I'm just so blessed with such wonderful friends, and I just, I don't know what to say. I have no words. I love this. Now, I may give this one to Lily. I don't know yet. I, I'm having a hard time even taking it out of my arms right now, but she loves mushrooms as much as I do. Her home is 70s vintage, too, and she would appreciate this and love this as much as I do, so I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to sound stingy and selfish, but this is so beautiful. I just don't even know. Um, but I now own two pieces of Sweet Miss Nelda's mushroom set, and I am thrilled to death to pieces. I'm just so excited. And the last thing that I want to show you is a piece that I have wanted to own for many, many months since I started antiquing, since I started this vintage journey that I'm on, since David and I started um, going to antique stores and I started researching online and, you know, watching the, the Instagram reels and the YouTube videos. And this is something that I have always, always wanted. I have seen them. They're usually very expensive. Um, I did find one one time before and I had it in my hand. I was going to buy it. And the owner of the store was so incredibly rude and ugly to me that I put it back. I wouldn't purchase anything from him. I had this and one other piece that I have always wanted. And it's a shame that the two pieces that I have always wanted were in my hands and I had to walk out the door without them. But um, I got my first swung glass vase. And I got this yesterday antiquing. And if you know, you know <laughs> how excited I was to see this. It is flawless. It has no chips, no cracks, no breaks, nothing. It is just pure perfection and pure joy to my soul. So I held this thing like it was a Grammy or an Emmy or whatever. Like, you know, when they get the awards on, <laughs> on television, I was just like, thank you for this award. I will cherish it. <laughs> so this was my prize find yesterday at the antique store. It was worth the drive, worth the trip, worth putting makeup on because I'm thrilled. I'm so excited to have this piece. All right, I have one more thing to show you and it's the big thing. So I've got the camera in my hands right now because I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to show you the next thing that I got. So if you'll remember, I went thrifting not too long ago and I found this tablecloth and it was just a small little square and I knew it would not fit my table, but I, you know, I was going to kind of turn it you know, the corners down and make it work. Well, everybody started messaging me and telling me that it was a bridge uh, set. So apparently back in the day, the ladies would have bridge, bridge games and they would set their card table up to have bridge. After the game, they would have refreshments. So I'm thinking, that's neat, but I don't really have a card table. Well, I do now. I found the most amazing card table and let me show it to you. There she is in all her glory. Isn't it beautiful? I needed a card table because I have so many get-togethers at my house. I'm always in need of extra seating and places to sit things, but why go out and buy a new card table when you can have something as beautiful as this? So this is my card table. I got this actually a few weeks ago. I've been kind of sitting on it for a while to show you, but I had... 30, I have $30 in this card table for all five pieces, and I could not be more thrilled. So I am not one to play cards or to play bridge or anything like that. I've never been a card player. Um, my mom didn't allow cards in the house, so I, I really don't even know how to play most of the games. Um, but I do know how to set up a table for refreshments. That I can do. But I figured that I would take the tablecloth that I had found and see how it fits on my new table. Um, I don't have, I guess you could say, 
authentic dishes that they would have probably used back then, but I can set a little something up and play around and kind of show you what it looks like all set up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I know this is not authentic by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I don't even own cards. These are teeny tiny ones <laughs> that I had got for my tear tray. Um, but it's fun to do anyway. I thought it would be a cute little setup to do. And of course, I'm always up for using my beautiful depression glass and amber glass. So I think it's precious. I would love to sit down and have tea with my girlfriends at a table this sweet, and um, I think it's cute, so. I am so sorry, I forgot to film an outro. I was rushing out the door to go visit a family member that I wanted to see today, um, who's going through some things. I wanted to visit with him before my Sunday gets away with me, but I was driving and I'm like, oh my goodness, I forgot to film an outro and say goodbye. So here I am in this random parking lot that I just pulled over in on the side of the road to tell you guys I'm so sorry, but um, I'm hoping to get that crafting video out to you as soon as possible. Um, it's an Easter craft for our Easter tree. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. And then um, Summer has a birthday party coming up. I'm gonna share that with you too, the prep and the party and all of that. We're gonna do that together. So that's the things coming up. And of course, we're gonna be decorating for Easter soon. So if you have not liked and subscribed to my channel, please make sure you have done so. We are getting very, very close to 5,000 subscribers and I, I can't believe that. It's so exciting. So um, until next time, I love you all and I'll see you later, bye.